Here's the pepper on this morning. Say something that will make my day. Cause these memories of her won't go away. They're haunting me so I can't sleep. She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep. Cause she left me here alone. It's Monday. I'm starting this vlog. I'm not sure if this is going to be a whole weekly vlog or a few days, but like I showed you guys, I woke up and went to the grocery store and have some laundry. Just kind of like getting stuff together. We spent this past weekend with my family pretty much the entire weekend and it was so much fun. I love being close to family now. Like we hung out by the pool. Aiden went and played golf with my dad. We took Charlotte on a little aunt date and it was just like the perfect wholesome weekend. But now I'm getting back into the swing of things. I'm making some stuff to put in the fridge. I'm going to cut up some watermelon. I need to cut up these carrots for cash because I like to give him those and I'm also gonna make these Peanut butter filled dates you basically just take the pit out of the dates and then put almond butter in it And then I like to add a little chocolate chip and I keep that in the fridge for kind of a sweet treat So I like to have some things prepped for the week So they're doing construction outside of our apartment So I'm sorry if they start doing it again, but I wanted to show you guys a Trader Joe's haul I trade off between going to Trader Joe's and Tom Thumb. I just love how affordable Trader Joe's is I talked about how the produce I feel like hasn't been looking too great lately but i just love how you can get so much food and it's just not as expensive and so this is what i got i'm gonna try to talk over the construction again i'm sorry you can skip to this if you guys want to skip over but i got some tortilla chips some spin drift i like drinking this in the evening carrots for cash a cucumber for a recipe i'm gonna make some salsa because we have been really into chips and salsa honey crisp apples a watermelon i'm gonna cut up parsley green chilies for a recipe i'm gonna make some chicken enchiladas i got a salad kit this is just a mediterranean style one enchilada sauce for a recipe i got a cold brew coffee just because i like this we got some potatoes lemons this is a new find i'm gonna try it's this chunky artichoke and jalapeno dip i love perfect bars so i just got a couple of those dates feta cheese another new salsa because we've really been liking chips and salsa this is just a garlic chipotle salsa basil green onions for recipe i love these hold the cones as a evening snack they really just cure the sweet tooth chicken sausage which i've been liking to have for breakfast i got some pre-made chicken for a recipe chicken breast slices my favorite bread is just this sourdough bread it's a sprouted bread my favorite hummus which is the mediterranean style hummus I also got some tissues because we were out. These are almond buttered filled pretzel nuggets. I've always gotten the peanut butter ones, but I love almond butter. Tortillas for my recipe, grape tomatoes, orzo for my recipe. We go through these chopsticks so quickly, so I got some of those. Some shredded cheese and then just some cacao chips for again another recipe so i'm gonna put all this stuff away i'm actually gonna make an instagram reel too of some of my favorite things so i'm gonna go ahead and do that guys cash is so big i feel like he went through a growth spurt recently grow he's like why aren't you petting me puppies don't really just grow like the same amount each week if that makes sense they kind of go through growth spurts too and i feel like he went through a spurt because he is so much bigger and just taller but he's just so much bigger So I'm about to make a chicken orzo salad that I'm gonna keep in the fridge just to have for lunches, but I'm going to use some of my chicken that I got from Butcher Box, which is why I wanted to say thank you to Butcher Box for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to be working with them. You guys know I cook very often and I love just having really great ingredients to cook with. Butcher Box has really great high quality meat. They have 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, pork that is raised crate free, and they also have wild caught seafood. Essentially how Butcher Box works, you get to choose your actual box that you want and you can actually change the frequency of how often you get your box delivered. They have five different boxes. They have four curated boxes that they already have done for you. And then they also have a custom box option which you can pick and choose which meat you actually want to get. Get delivered and it all ships to you frozen at its peak freshness so it's ready to eat whenever you want it and it all comes in an eco-friendly recyclable packaging and the price breaks down to around six dollars per meal which i personally think is a really 
good value. I definitely think that it's easy to overspend on meat whenever you go to the grocery store. And I just find that this is a much more affordable option over the long term. And I also like that everything is frozen because a lot of times I will get to the end of the week and all my meat has either gone bad or I just forgot about it. I feel like meat doesn't stay super fresh when it's just kept in the fridge. You can also cancel your box anytime without a penalty if you don't need it certain months. And there's also free shipping, which is always one of my favorite things. We always love doing about one steak dinner a week. I've been loving cooking with their sirloin steaks, especially now that it's getting warmer. It's just nice to take things up to the grill and get to grill up there. And like eating dinner at our table is one of my favorite things. I think it's one of the best ways to unwind after just having a busy day working. And yeah, food's really important to me. We're also doing our steak dinner tonight. So I'm really excited to cook our steaks tonight. It's like one of my favorite things. And it just happens to be a Monday because I feel like having a nice steak dinner to look forward to is one thing that just makes Mondays a lot better. I'll have a butcher box down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. And right now in their essentials bundle, you'll actually get chicken breast, ground beef, and pork chops for free in your first box. So if that's something you're interested in, again, it'll be linked down below. So we actually took cash for a walk. It's like 6.45 right now, but I just popped into Barnes & Noble. I was so excited to read my book. I'm reading The Silent Patient and I'm like really getting into it, but I left it over at my family's house. And so I went ahead and came to Barnes & Noble because it's closer and I got another book I'm gonna read because I'm trying to read before bed now. It's like my new thing. I always watch Brooke Michio's vlogs and she's really into reading and it makes me want to be really into reading but she really recommended this book it's the last mrs parish i love like mystery thriller books and she said it was really good she literally read it in a night so i'm gonna read this i need to get a library card or something though because i always feel kind of silly like buying books all the time when i don't need to have them all the time after but i'm about to head home i'm gonna make some dinner and just get cozy for the night napping under my desk and I think he got stuck and he like whimpered really loud and ran out. It was really sad. I always said I wanted a cuddly dog and I literally did not think that he was going to be this cuddly. He would actually stay here with me like this all day if I let him. It's okay. It is Tuesday today. I got ready. We went on a walk this morning. I don't know if you guys have noticed but I'm not actually working out this week. I I'm just taking a week off of working out. For some reason, my body just feels really tired. And not that I wanna sleep in in the morning, but I just can tell with my body when things just feel like I need a little bit more like rest. And so we've been going on long walks with Cash. I've just been using that as my workout. I'm doing an F45 cardio class with my neighbor on Friday. So that'll be nice to do that. They're also still doing construction. I've been waiting for them to stop. I got this top on sale at Anthropology this weekend. I think it's really cute. I don't own anything that's this color. I think it's like a really fun spring color. But on the topic of being in tune with my body and all that, I kind of wanted to share a health update and like a health and fitness update. I did a podcast about a year ago about like my relationship with health and fitness and eating and all that kind of stuff and if this is gonna trigger you anyway you can definitely click out of this video a year ago I talked a lot about dealing with hair loss and my hair falling out and I would say that that started around March and obviously I still have like a lot of hair I've always had a lot of hair I'd say my hair is pretty fine but I have a decent amount of it and obviously it's getting a lot longer. I'm getting it cut tomorrow. At least for me, I didn't feel that people really talked about dealing with hair loss when they were at a young age. I felt so confused when this first started happening. It was when I came home. If you guys don't know, I feel like I have some newer followers here. I lived in New York City. I went to college there and I lived there a year after college and I came home in March to Texas to do wedding planning and then I never went back. So. We moved here, I got married in August, Aiden and I moved here, he got a job here, and so we're just here. But I really started noticing my hair falling out in March. I just felt it in the shower coming out a lot. I felt it in my towel when I would go to dry off my hair. And I was just really confused. I freaked out, I Googled a lot of stuff. There are so many different things that cause your hair to shed and excess. 
I was dealing with telogen effluvium, I'm pretty sure. It's just when it's like diffuse hair shedding. My hair is definitely a lot thinner than it used to be. I know it looks like I still have a lot, but compared to what my hair used to be, it's definitely thinner. And also a little hack, whenever I curl my hair with a straightener, I always feel like it looks thicker. That's what I did today, the way it frames your face. It kind of looks like the Dyson Airwrap a little bit, but not $300 or however much that costs. And I just totally freaked out. I went to so many doctors. I got all these different things tested, which I'm glad I did because I found that I was really low in ferritin which is, I don't really know the ins and the outs, but I believe it's the same thing as like being low in iron. And I started taking iron supplements. The iron supplements just weren't really doing much. And so I actually got these iron IVs, which were really expensive. I'm actually still paying them off <laughs> as of right now. And that was almost, I think a year ago when I got them, but it's basically when they just like put iron in an IV. I didn't honestly notice a huge difference with that, but I'm saying all this because I have noticed a huge difference by something else I've been doing. And that is just relieving stress in my life. When I reflect on how I lived a year ago, especially when I was working full time too and doing YouTube, it was just a lot to keep up with. I always felt the need to fill my day with so much. I was always seeking to do things all the time and I really did not know how to relax. My family would always kind of like joke around with me about that. Like you just can't relax. You always gotta be doing something. But that's really how I lived then. And I always talk about moving to Texas and slowing down. And I've been making more of like these slow, simple videos because I really do think that living this way has helped me a lot. And I know everyone is at different points in their life. Some people can't slow down. Some people can't just not be busy because they're working really demanding jobs. You have kids. Like I see the way my siblings are with their kids and it's crazy how much work it is to have kids. But if you're someone like me who is just filling your time with things that didn't necessarily need to be there, I also was really struggling with insomnia, which I always struggled to fall asleep. I would wake up in the middle of the night, and this is something that I still deal with occasionally, but it's much better than it used to be. I hardly ever actually deal with having trouble falling asleep. If anything, I'll wake up in the night or I just won't feel super rested after I sleep, but I never have trouble falling asleep. And I also think a big part of that is because I got married and I really like sleeping with someone else. It makes me feel really comforted. But I really do think that has helped my body a lot. I also, because I've been talking about meat in this video, I just think it's so important to remember that everyone eats differently and you have to do what works for you. And I've tried to do different things in the past. And for me and my body, and because iron is something that I really do struggle with. And for me, the way that I get my iron levels up the best and the most efficiently is through eating red meat. And I also just feel more energy incorporating it into my diet at least once or twice a week. So that is why I was really excited about the Butcher Box sponsorship because I've just noticed for my body that I feel a lot better this way. I found this girl on Instagram who I love. I'm sure you guys have seen if you watch reels on Instagram. She's so cute. Her name is Brie. This is her Instagram. She's so cute. She does all these really cute reels talking about kind of like just breaking down a lot of unhealthy diet dialogue. And I also really like she shows how her body changes throughout the day whenever she is bloated. She's just really cute. She's a great follow if you just want like a positive person to watch on your feed. But I really like how she talks about that and how just like everyone eats different and that is totally okay. I really do think that has helped my hair. I don't know if my hair is done shedding. I do feel like it still comes out a little bit more than it used to but as you can see there are all these like baby hairs that are coming in right here so i do think hair is growing back where it was gone and i also have noticed my eyebrows because that was a place that I had lost a lot of my hair, my eyebrows, and my eyelashes, but I feel like it's just now coming back. So while I wanted to find some quick fix, this has almost been a year now, I really do think that just limiting the stress levels and just eating enough too and eating enough for your body, I think that's another really important thing. It can be because you are just not eating enough. It can be because there's some sort of deficiency. Maybe it's vitamin D. I know one of the doctors that I saw said it could be a B12 deficiency because that's another thing that I was struggling with that now I have plenty of B12, which is why I just feel more energy than I used to. And I think practically in my workouts, while I'm not working out this week, 
switching them up and doing more than just cardio i love cardio but i really only do cardio because it's like a mental thing for me running just really helps me feel so much better after i work out which is why i usually do work out but actually lifting weights and trying to get stronger and i did a strength f45 class with my neighbor and it was so good just doing push-ups like we did push-ups where one hand was on a medicine ball and one was on the floor and actually being able to do those i never used to be able to do like actual push-ups and so that stuff is just so rewarding and i do think it's a mental thing kind of getting over that block i just think that there's so much information out there when it comes to health and fitness and being healthy and and i also think that planning a wedding is really stressful i think that could have been a big reason why it was happening it also started happening right after i got hit by a car crossing the street in new york it wasn't like anything bad i did a video on that a long time ago but i feel like it could have been from like the adrenaline from that because that was really scary and my mom was hit by a car when i was in middle school so it just like brought up all of these things from the past that messed with my sleep and stuff so i do think it could have been something like that too but i'm just in a really happy place right now with my health and my fitness and i feel very healthy right now not in a way where i'm not eating a certain thing or i look a certain way but just the fact that i feel very i feel like i know my body i feel like i know what works what doesn't work and i feel like i am just more in tune with my body if that makes sense it's just a good place to be i also wanted to ask you guys i've been feeling like i'm a little bit stuck in my routine lately and i'm wanting to do another one of those me trying something for a week video so if you have any suggestions of what i should try feel free to let me know down below i'm really up to doing a challenge next week and kind of just like switching things up doing something different it'll be the first week of may so it'll be nice to switch it up so let me know what i should try down below i have a lot of work to do today i feel like it's one of those days where there are just so many people like needing me at once and so i'm going to do this for the rest of the day i'm really excited for when aiden comes home from work because we're going to hang out i think we might actually go somewhere and do something fun i got about three and a half more hours till he comes home. So I'm gonna finish up some work. I just took Cash out and it was so cute because he was playing with a French bulldog in the park. He's like covered in slobber. But something I've been doing recently, so he eats his food really quickly and we're trying to find ways to slow him down when he's eating. And so I've actually been putting food in this ball. It's like a treat ball. So he has to push it around and get the treats out. I have an actual slow feeder bowl, but he just doesn't understand it for some reason. And so I'm just gonna put half of his food in his bowl and then half of it in his treat ball. And this will help slow him down. I was getting ready to read and I looked over and Cash is already in the reading spot. Guys, I was just checking if Cash had lost any teeth. Yeah, no one's gone. Let's see if we can see here. That front one. Oh yeah, it's bleeding a little bit. I was trying to read my book, but someone was demanding some attention. So we are playing with this fox. This is his favorite toy. I'm still waiting for him to come home. But until then, this is where I'll be. Oh, I can see it all so clear All these broken 